<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you all how you can easily update and even downgrade your games on a jailbroken PlayStation 4 using Patch Installer. Now, we need to get a few things clear. First of all, this is only for retail games, full retail games digital and physical, but this will not work for fake package games. So this is my jailbroken PlayStation 4 running Gold Hen on firmware 9.00, and right here highlighted I have Trials Fusion, which is a game disc that I own that I'm choosing to update. It's currently on version 1.00. Now here, for example, is Hotline Miami. This is a fake package file, meaning that this is a game I owned on disc, I, at least I have the disk version of it. I dumped it, I compiled a fake package file, and I installed that fake package file. This application and this method of updating games will not work for fake package files. It is not designed for fake package files. This will only work for full retail games that are digital or physical. So let's just make that clear here. Now, this is going to be pretty simple to do, but you'll of course need your game or games of choice. You're going to need your jailbroken PlayStation 4, an active internet connection on it, and we're going to need a USB drive to download and transfer over the patch installer application. Now, I'm going to use that method to transfer. If you want to use another, you know, remote package installer or anything else, that's going to be totally up to you. Now here, I'm going to go ahead, fire up Trials Fusion. Just to show you all, here is the splash screen itself. And let's go ahead and get to the start screen, just to show everything. Now here we go. This is the title sequence here, and I just want to show this because it's going to change when we update this game. So this is working as intended because it is just a PS4 game running on disc. I'm going to close out of this here. Now, make sure you have already run Mira or Gold Hen or Hen. As you can see, I already have it right here. And now we're going to go over to our computer and download what we need to. There's really only going to be two sites I'm going to refer to here. And unless you're going to be using Al Azif's DNS, you really just need one. The first one's going to be orbispatches.com. You can just come here and go to the patch installer. Here, it's very simple. You click on download PKG. Now, make sure you download this somewhere you can easily find it. I just put it on the desktop and grab your USB drive that you want to transfer everything to. Make sure it is formatted to XFAT or FAT32. Mine is XFAT because that's all that's needed here, and that's the preferable one if you're using a PS4, at least in my opinion. So go ahead, go into your USB drive, copy and paste the package file, just the root of it, and that's all we need. At this point, we can right click, eject, and transfer this over to the PS4. Over at the PS4, plug in your USB drive, go over to settings, and load up your package installer with whichever method you're using. If you're using Gold Hen, you can go through that menu, or of course you can go through debug settings, game, package installer, and then install patch installer. This is very small, so it should just take a few seconds, and there we go. We now have patch installer up and running. Now, one important thing before we get this working here, and this is why I mentioned the DNS, you do need to have access to PlayStation and Sony servers. You see, this website, Orbis Patches, that we're using is not going to host these patches. This really just allows us to download them from the official servers. So, if you have a DNS setting, such as Al Azif's DNS, which does inherently block all of those connections, you will have to remove it for the time being. So for this, this is what we can do. We can go over to settings. First of all, go down to system, automatic downloads. This should already be disabled. System software update files, make sure this is disabled so we do not update the PS4 firmware, but also disable application update files. So that way our applications will not automatically update and we're gonna control that manually. Next up, you can go to your network connections and we're going to just set this for easy settings. So go to network, go to set up internet connection, choose whichever method you're using. I'm going to use a LAN cable, and we're just going to do easy for this. And there we go. We don't have to test the internet connection, but we can exit out of that, and now we can load up patch installer. So give this a few seconds. Right here, it should just give us this little splash sequence here. You can go ahead read it and then hit OK. And here it's going to show all of our official games and such that we have. Well, actually everything, our official games as well as our fake package files. So for example, I know the Playroom, that just comes default on the PS4, that one is official. 
Trials Fusion I know is also official. All of these other four are fake package games that I have dumped, created, and installed myself here. Now, even if you try any of these, the patch will not work on here. So it is, again, only for official games. But what we can do is come down to our game of choice. So mine is Trials Fusion. It's going to show two different patch files. Now, if you see a green icon on the left of it, that means that patch will work on your console firmware. If you see a red icon, that means that that patch is too high of a firmware for your console. So if you download and install that patch, the game will not work. But what I want to do is download the latest patch here. So I'm going to just download patch 1.17. We're going to hit continue installation. Patch added to downloads. Check that out, it got added to downloads. So I'm gonna exit out of here. And if you do want to add any other patches to your downloads, you can always just do that by, you know, selecting what's available. Well, <laughs> not that here, but just selecting what's available and then downloading whatever you want to on there. So you can kind of just, you know, double, triple up your downloads. But this is the only one that I wanted. So for now, I'm going to exit out of patch installer. Once our work is done there, you can come up to your downloads, downloads, and check it out, this is downloading the latest patch at the time for Trials Fusion. So this is going to take me about 10 or 12 minutes, I'm just going to let it sit here and do its thing. While we're waiting on that patch, it's also worth noting that this is just the same information you can grab from OrbisPatches.com, except made much easier and all on the console itself. So if we did this all manually, we can go to OrbisPatches.com, look up Trials, and right here, you'd have to match the exact version you're using. So I know mine is the US version. And from here, you can see there's a lot more granular detail. But at this point, once you have this matched up, assuming you matched it properly, you can then download the patch file of your choice. You would then transfer that over to a USB drive or another method of getting it over to your PlayStation 4 in order to install it. So Patch Installer just makes all of this much easier and much more simplified and less transfers since it's all directly on the console. All right, back over at the PlayStation 4. As you can see, our patch file is almost done installing. Now it goes without saying, this is going to vary for many people in terms of download speeds, the game, the patch size, all of that fun stuff here. So it's installing and it installed, very easy. We can now exit out of this and check this out. If we go to Trials Fusion, check the information. It's now on update 1.17. So here we can go ahead and launch Trials Fusion. And the reason why I showed it before is because you see afterwards that end up changing just the boot sequence there. And let's even get to the main menu itself. And here we go, check it out. The main menu is now completely different, much more colorful and a lot more stuff happening right here. So we now have our game completely updated on the latest update at this point. Now it's also worth noting that the latest update might not work on your console if it requires a higher firmware than your console has. And there's not too much that can be done about that here. But if the game update is compatible on your console, then you can install it without much issue. You can also see the size went from about five gigs to 10 and a half gigs, something like that. So there we go, we have all of that. Now, it's also worth noting that you can downgrade your game patches as well too, for whatever reason, whether that's you want to play on a base version, you want to run on a lower version for maybe a mod or maybe just any other reasons. You can do that as well too, since you have full control over this. So what we can do is just open up patch installer yet again. We'll go ahead, X through this, and we're going to go down to our game of choice that we want to downgrade. So mine is of course running 1.17, and from here you can delete the currently installed patch. So that's about all you can do here. I'm just going to select that. So if I want to downgrade to 1.16 for example, or just the base version, you can just hit delete currently installed patch, delete, and then wait a few moments. Patch has been deleted successfully. We can hit OK, go back down here. We're on 1.00. And at this point, if I want to, I can play this on 1.00, or I could even downgrade it to 1.16. So I'm going to exit out of Patch Installer. We now have Trials up and running yet again. We have about, you know, half of our space back here. It went down to 5 gigs. It's on version 1.0. And if, even if I boot it up here, we can see that the splash screen from the original base game is back to what it was. And here we go. 
Now, it's also worth noting as well, too, that if you end up playing on a higher patch version of a game and you downgrade or just remove the patches, then your saves might not work on that game. And I do want to stress that is not a fault of patch installer. That is simply how games are. Many times, if you're playing on a save that requires a higher version of that game and you downgrade it, that higher version save is not going to work on the lower versions. So that's just how the game is as by design. That's not any fault of patch installer here. But there we go. That's about all there is to it. It's thankfully pretty simple and pretty awesome all at the same time. Now for the final step here, let's say you have unblocked your settings here for your DNS and such. Well, I'll go ahead and show you, at least if you're using Al Aziz's DNS server, how to put that back on. Not only will that give us access that we need to the user's guide, but on top of that, it will block Sony servers all over again. I'm going to have this linked down below in the description for the PS4 exploit host. If you choose to use this, that's up to you, or you could use any other host. But down here, you can just go to the using remote DNS setting and look for the two sets of IP addresses. These could always change. They haven't in a while, but I'm just highlighting this here so people can go out and manually find it just in case they change. Once you have the DNS settings saved, go down to network, set up internet connection, make your choice. And here we're going to do custom. So IP address is fine. DHCP is fine. For DNS, we need to make this manual. And this is where we're going to change it. So there we go. We've just put both of these in here. Hit next. That's all okay. And there we go. I can even just test the internet connection. Everything is working just fine. So we're back to where we were at before with our jailbroken PS4. If I go over to the user's guide, Alazif's DNS or page here is going to show up. And on top of that, all of the network traffic to those PlayStation servers is blocked. So that is to say, if we open up a patch installer here, for example, we will not be able to reach out and download any patches. But that is by design because, again, we are blocking that traffic. So I'm going to do a refresh here real quick. Go down to Trials Fusion. And if I try to download any of these patches, for example, check this out. Connection to PlayStation.net was denied. Again, that is as intended there. So you just have to remove that whenever you want to download your patches. But there we go. That is about all there is to it for Patch Installer. I hope this helps some of you all out. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, a like would absolutely be appreciated. If you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well too. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone.